We want to remember that we're veterans and we know the real cost of war. Bush and Cheney took the same oath that we did to defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. But they have violated that oath and trampled the Constitution through five years of war. And now they've got the blood of Iraqis and American soldiers on their hands. We have to stop this war, take care of our veterans when they come home, and we have to pay restitution to Iraq. That's what we're doing out here. We want to stop the war and fulfill our oath as soldiers. Besides being in the U.S. military for 29 years, I was also a U.S. diplomat for 16 years. And it was five years ago today, on March 19th, 2003, that I resigned from my position with the federal government in opposition to the war in Iraq. We are here five years later to say it's still a violation of international law. And when we see the consequences, the cost of the war and the trillions of dollars, $12 billion every month that is being spent, that could be, should be used for humanitarian purposes both in our country and in the country of Iraq. We, we the people of the United States, are standing not only in Washington, D.C. today, but in, in every community in our nation. As veterans and patriotic Americans, we're here today to do more than just raise awareness. Because when injustice becomes law, Resistance becomes duty. And as patriotic Americans who have sworn an oath to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, especially domestic, we have come here today to resist and to fight for the Constitution. I carry the American flag upside down today because America is in a state of distress. But America in a state of distress is still a country that we love, and it is still a flag that we salute. And now, with TAPS, I ask you all to please stand at attention and salute the flag in honor of all brave men and women who have sworn an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and died in that effort. Where are you out here today? I'm here to defend the Constitution against the gangsters who have taken it over in the name of the U.S. government and the U.S. people. And it's absolutely necessary that all the people stand together and recognize what terrible crimes have been committed against our country, against the world, against humanity. 